Well, hello, hello, this is Rosa RCG Crazers. How are you doing? Bringing you a quickie little video on the Kitchen Aid Stand Mixer Attachment Spiral with Peel, Core, and Slice. Actually, we've had this for quite a while. <laughs> I'm a shorty and hubby put it up in the little cabinet where the other stuff, the other attachments are, and I forget because I don't go up there very often. And I'm peeling potatoes. Cause I'm gonna, I was not potato apples. Cause I'm gonna be uh, slicing them and freezing them for a couple, a couple of quickie meals, and I'm gonna save myself a lot of prep time. By uh, they're soaking in the water with a little bit of lemon, so they don't turn brown on me. The skins are in another bowl. Let me show you with lemon water. I'm saving the skins. Then I'm gonna put it through my salad spinner, get all the excess water out. And then I'm going to put them in a freezer bag and freeze them. Then I'm going to make some um, apple jelly with the skins. Didn't know you could do that. Not a recipe. So there'll be another video for that. But I want to show you today how easy it is to use this KitchenAid attachment. Now I'm going to be honest with you. It, because of the shape of the apple, it doesn't always core everything very, very well. Some don't even core at all. And I'll show you in just a minute. But here's one that just got done. And see, there you go. I have to manually I'll peel it all that myself, but I got my paring knife to do that. But all basically you do is you. We found out, hubby actually did, that the best part is the part that's more wider. Put that in on the outside. So the peeler, the peeler, you push on this little lever, and this slides over to whatever length, like if you're doing potatoes or zucchini, whatever it is, whatever veggie you're using. Then you stick it in there, push this down, slide it over, you get it as close. And we found out that in the number two, the number four on this, it really doesn't make a bit of difference. Uh, here is the, just the stir, which is slow. Here's number two. And you can see that it's peeling. Let me move you over. You can see that it's peeling there but you see how it's missing and uh, it's just the way the shape of the apple is I'm gonna turn this down now you can always come back push it back there's the release to move the bottom and we're gonna start it again you could pick up a little bit on here to give you give it some make it stay up there and peel the peel it's okay to do a little bit of it but you don't want to do the whole thing and see how it's peeling more now because it's got a it's got a grip of it. Sounds like anything else mechanical. You have to work with it, and every piece of fruit is different because fruit or vegetable is different because of the shape of how they came out. But see how it's peeling it now. So it's one of these things you gotta play as you go with each piece of fruit. But I will tell you, this definitely beats the handheld one, which I have the tabletop one. And I love it, still use it. I will not get rid of it because you never know where the power goes out. And what if I have a big job I need to peel? And then you just slide it out, and there you go. We'll do one more. And then, like I said, try to use the shape that's the roundest that goes on the end. Let me get my uh, take off my extra skin there. Okay, and there, this little lever locks it into place, so it's on the little grooves, and that's what keeps makes it go up and down. This little lever is what slides it in and out, and it just slides in, and it locks and, and blocks in place. And then the main tool, and this tool, and then that's it. But a little, I will do a closer video in just a second of all the items that are in that little tool and that kit. It's, uh, it's just called, it's called a KitchenAid Stand Mixer Attachment and a set uh, of accessories. Okay, so I took it a little too far back, but that's okay. Now I'm waiting for it to cut close to the apple. You see how it kind of, it picks up part of the apple. And so that one's going to be a pretty good peel. This is the last of my apples that I got to do today. 
Well, not that I gotta do. I want to do them. Because I want to preserve them. Because we've got a busy week next week at the office. So I'm not going to have much trip time because I'll be swamped and I'll be too tired when I get home from work to do anything. So let me move this out of the way. Move this over here. And I'm going to show you, here's one of the apples that got really done really well. Just got the edges, but I wanted to show you one that didn't. See we go? See this one? That's all I got. So this one I'll have to manually peel myself. But when you have a nice parry knife, if the job goes by really fast. So anyway, this is my take. Oops. Let me get my, dry my hands. Oh, well, let me show you this too. This came with a really nice instruction manual. It's of course it's in different languages. And then this is the spiral one, which is what I'm using. But this is a nice little booklet, visual booklet. There's not really that much directions. And let me show you. Here's the attachments. Here's all the attachments that go with it. So this one is, oh, yep, yeah, you're in frame. I don't want to get too close. For spiralizing, medium spiralizer, a slicer. A slice for a large core, like for apples, and then to peel. So here's all the attachments. This is that whole thing that's right here. And this is the little core part. I forget what you call it. But I'll put a more de detailed description in the description box of all the items. And um, I'm pretty pleased with this. And this is... Oh, let me move you over in frame here. Let me get in. This is my little review of the KitchenAid, oh, what do you call this again? Oh, what do you call this? Oh, KitchenAid Stand Mixer Attachment. <laughs> anyway, and let me, let's get a good one, one that peeled pretty good. There we go, peeling the apples. Okay, great. Let me wipe my hands. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.